Welcome back, everybody, to Rift once again. Last time we left off, we went through the tutorial for the Guardians faction. And now we're here in Silverwood, which is the first zone of the game proper. So we already got a little bit of a setup on our character. We're kind of going for like a DPS tank hybrid as a cleric. Are you here to help? Great status has fallen upon us. The Holy Forest of Silverwood should not be a host to so much woe. I fell from the Great Bridge when the Defiance blew it up. We were crossing to destroy their Ark of the Ascended, a found device they've created to replicate the ascension of the Vigil. We couldn't let that happen, but the Defiance destroyed the bridge rather than face us, face us in honorable combat. I can still see my comrade's face as the bridge fell beneath us. I'll never forgive this crime. Who, who, who are you? You're dressed strangely for a guardian. Journey well. It's all right. It's so a port sign, which is essentially under. So remember, it's basically sealed, I think. Poor ah, sign has fallen. The fiance ended the peace and destroyed the bridge, leaving a guardian comrades floating in the wreckage. Where did you come from? I just crawled ashore and saw a bright light near the trees. Whoever you are, you must be blessed by the vigil. The city over there is Port Sign. It was the rock we built a peace upon between defiance and guardians, but Elsbeth allowed Regalos to stretch his horrendous talons to the ward. She stole the heart of Regalos from the vaults and unleashed a death rift over the city. King Zerup, who tried for so long to keep the peace, gave his life to shut off the city and tra trap the evil inside. Now we're at war with the defiance, and that's why I'm soaking wet. What are we going to do to now? Best of luck. Alright. So... Right off the bat here, I can already see one change from the original game, which is they now have Carnage quests from the very beginning of the game, and Carnage quests are kind of the ones I hate the most, as far as questing goes through the entire thing, so... That's always good to see. Ah, good to see you. Can it be? The Ascendant has returned. For 20 years, we've waited the return of those who shattered the body of Regulus' avatar, ending the Mathosian War. Now that you're here, we can begin righting the wrongs that have occurred since your disappearance. Long ago, Malforge was imprisoned by the races of Teleria. Now it appears his servants have created a disturbance in the plains that allows them to communicate with their master. We must use the Spear of Light to put a stop to this ritual lest they find a way to release their Dragon Lord. Don't really need either one of these, to be honest. I mean, a staff. I, I get the staff, I guess, but. Do you remember me, all of you? It's been 20 years since I saw you smiting the Knights of Adriax and Mathiosa. You ensured our victory against Regulus that day, and I'm sure you'll be our harbinger of vengeance once again. This forest is called Silverwood. It is the ancient home of the High Elves, one of Tolaris's oldest races. As if the return of Regulus wasn't enough, the Dragon of the Fire Malforge is using this breach in the plains to thwart us of its flame-touched minions. Before we can aid the Vigil in the Sacred Forest, we must put a stop to the influx of these demons. Fuck. Yeah, okay. Ooh, okay. Let me see. Light makes right sounds like it'd be good. Yeah, this will be interesting to say the least. We actually have quite a few quests here, so let's go ahead and start picking them up. Hello. 
We fight foes on two fronts. In one sense, it's a folly, but in another, it's our destiny to overcome such odds. It's a lesson that we ascended have learned since Matthiosos, but that many mortal folk do not yet understand. Take this ancient sigil to inspire our centuries against the demons of Malforge. Remind them that the Guardians are the Vigil's chosen saviors of, of Talera. Vining's one soul is an ancient art mastered of the ages by the Portalum masters across Talaria. Recently we discovered a means by which we could create an anchor point for your soul, allow you to recall back to that point from anywhere in the world. You have you have to end up. Would you like the ability to recall to this location? I offer it free to the ascended who will save this world. All you have to do is let me know when you're ready. Wonderful, you'll find that binding your soul and recalling to the Porlums across Tulare is an efficient means of defending the world against the dragons. Vigil go with you, all of you, and happy travels. So we've got soul recall once again. Not everything from the plains is evil and corrupt. Before the dragons despoiled the planar realms, there existed pathways through the elements that were blessed by the gods. See here one of the last remaining to us, planar Porlum. To use it through, though, you'll need to discover another destination. Annette Korstral at Aunt Argent Glade is a Porlum master like me and can tell you more. Best of luck. So eventually we're gonna have to head over that way. At the moment though, we're gonna leave that quest alone. Just gonna have an honor to pass bar for now. But we're going to continue picking up quests around this area. The Red Dragon's minions are bent on burning down the, this ancient forest. Quickly stamp out the flames and tear down the pyres if the forest is consumed. Hmm. I guess the honored like mail, maybe? I don't know. And then there's one more over this way, it looks like. Well, I may as well grab this if we're passing it up. This was once a regular re reclary of Mar Marotan, but it has been corrupted by wanton magic. The fires of Malforge threaten to destroy all the holy relics and sink Sigwin shores, recover them before it's too late. Sure, why not? Yeah, let's head back this way for the moment. Inspire, inspire these guys, why not? There we go. You got a daily, what do you have here? Okay, well, I don't really have an interest in doing that at the moment, so... There we go. Ah, good to see you. The courageous shouts of our soldiers are wonderful to hear. Thank you for inspiring them with your blessing, all of you. To win the war against Malforge and Defiance, we must win the hearts and minds of Guardians of all ranks. We cannot win alone. Farewell. Alright. What will this do? Let's see. I didn't even see where that thing fell. <laughs>
Okay. Thankfully, all these guys count for the same card quest, so I'm not too annoyed with it. Pretty nice mace. Okay, so we've got half of them gone already. We actually already have 14 gold, that's actually pretty good. I didn't realize we were already, like, getting that much gold. I'm guessing our trinket is actually helping us out quite a bit on that, too. We'd probably be closer to, like, 10 otherwise. That one didn't count because I didn't hit it first, I guess. Hello. You've, we you've weakened Malforge's minions, but there is more to do. There is our duty as guardians to prevent this holy place from becoming defiled by servants of the Bloodstorm. As the Prophet Marlet said, Before the storm prepare, after storm prepare. We'll go ahead and take Honored Leg Mail, I think, because that'll give us a plus one to wisdom, so... I don't like the fact we're losing endurance, but whatever, I guess. Also, I forgot the fact the store here, we actually get a... Let me see here. We actually have a button down here to sell great items, so let's go ahead and do that. I think otherwise we need to find an actual shop to get rid of this other stuff, though. But that does clear out quite a bit of inventory space we otherwise didn't have a moment ago. We still need a little bit for our cars quest, but we're doing pretty well. I don't know where these ambers are. I can. There we go. Oh, that one actually missed. Ugh. The amber ones are apparently over this way somewhere. Ah yes, okay, we found them. Lovely. That looks like we found a relic, I'm pretty sure. Found the relic of Tavril, okay. Uh, with the cards quest in the other quest, I imagine we'll probably get a level up here. If not, we'll be very close to it. Okay, 
This is one of the ones where I have to like AOE. Like throw this thing in the throw the thing in the face of it. <laughs> Alright, that's down. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah, I could probably kill two more on the way back. Actually, there is a thing over here, apparently. Honestly, it just feels nice not to be so squishy. By cleansing the woods of the Malforge Embers and Wanton Destroyers, you have done the Vigil Proud, yet a Doug Arnie's job is never done. Some quests do not require return. Yeah. Some quests will just give us a little icon like that. We get to turn in anytime we want. I think we can hold up to 10 or like 9, something like that. But I always just like get them immediately when I get it, get them completed anyway, so. I have not seen your face as the war in Methosia out of you. Though I've died, the vigil has not dealt with me yet. I bring a warning and a gift. You have seen the enemy, a dragon of fire, so cruel, it's only desire to see Tamaria burn. But there are five other dragons breaching the ward of Planar Rifts. You must stop them, Ascendant. The gods will bestow upon you the Planar Lore. Use the Planar Lore to breach Planar Tears. And seal the rifts of your own, on your own terms. I guess I'll take the staff. Next to you, Divine Landing will hold fast. However, Malforge's goblin hordes are descending from the north. The goblins will raise the town of Urgent Glade if you don't intervene. Oh, we'll actually get a, uh... And we'll actually get a belt, finally. I still need to grab one more thing, though. It's actually an idol out this way, huh? <clears throat> yeah, I assume we wouldn't have too much issue with any starting rifts. Oh, we actually have a quest right here. Okay. You find a book scattered among the stones around this abandoned campsite. The name Nathan Green, Green is written on the front of this abandoned book. Perhaps he is the missing owner. Yeah, we should have... Yeah, the last relic we need right here. I keep on, like, looking to hit my sprint button, and I simply don't have one. <laughs> at the moment, I have a mount, at least. It's only a 10% extra bit of movement speed, but that's decent enough for now, I guess. Good to see you. Bless you, all of you. We, we will transport these relics to Sanctum as soon as an opportunity presents itself. Know that your actions have honored the Vigil. Let me see here what we got. Ooh, is that a shield? Pretty sure it's a shield, okay. Death to the dragon. So yeah, we get a better shield now. Okay. We've learned planar lore. Okay. And that we could probably just put down here in our abilities here, because why not?
Okay, we actually have break free here, which I don't know if we actually need that or not, but Okay, we actually have an ascended ability too, or resurrection ability. So that's pretty neat. Accept my challenge. You found my journal, thank the gods. I was on the shore notating my thoughts and create spiritual matters when those creatures spilled through a fire rift. I barely escaped, losing my notebook in the chase. Thank you for returning it. Alright. So I am actually getting passive healing from this. A quarter for non-Justicar abilities and like twice as much for Justicar abilities. So really the only thing I would use at the moment that's not a Justicar ability would be Lightning Hammer. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go ahead and save that. We get Provoke. Drinking water, I think I'll actually take off of this. I don't need that on my thing here at the moment. Provoke, I'll probably put on there. It's kind of un. It's not likely I'll really use that at the moment, but whatever. Until this first bar fills up, I'm not uh, too picky on what goes on at the moment. I technically took a take this buff and put it on the other side of things, really. Because I think usually, actually, uh... Well, at the moment, it doesn't really matter, I guess. But yeah, the buff I would probably put, actually... Put it in here. Because the stuff I need to use right away I usually keep on my first hot bar, so let me go ahead and just change that out a bit. Yeah, there we go. And the healing ability I'll put over there. So at the moment, okay, that's decent enough, I guess. Uh, let me think for a moment. We're gonna go ahead and. It uh, looks like our portal quest is finally not orange anymore, so that means we're within two levels of it. I'm guessing it's probably a level 10 quest, if that's the case. So that means we still have a bit of time to get to. Uh, Good to worry about that. Also, I'm going to change shards. I forgot the fact that I wanted to uh, do that before. We're going to go with the deep wood. We're going to go hang out in deep wood, I think. Because either deep wood or gray buyer seems to be the ones where people are generally hanging out in, so. The only reason I stuck with Latheus was, uh... Because my other character was there. If there was any account sharing stuff going on, it would be easier for me to do it off of that than, assumably, otherwise. Great sun, an ascended. Well, imagine this. An Ascended is here to help us defend the forest. You have the truth of it. Through the authority of the Wonton Hordes in Divine Landing, they've now turned their fiery gaze towards the rest of the forest. That's unfortunate. So we'll go with the wisdom choice here. Go ahead and just slap that on now, actually. I 
The Wonton Cult's infiltration of Sterling Hills is alarming. All Forge's golden hordes skulk, sh skulk through the forest, setting Vespid Hives alight to spread their fire magic. To help this corruption, destroy the hives and bring me the hive walls as proof of your deed. Hmm. Uh, it's a death wand, huh? It's not something I'm really looking for, so. Let's see. As a guardian, it is your duty to defeat the rifts that plague our holy forest. When you close a rift or defeat an invasion, you'll often find planarite that can be traded for planar goods. If you bring some to war with Delvon in Urgent Glade, he'll certainly reward you. Alright. With this, we'll actually get a, uh, a player focus, which is actually interesting, because that definitely was not there originally in the games until much later on. I believe it was Nightmare Tide, I think, those came through. Or maybe it was Storm Legion, I don't remember which. But it was definitely one of the expansions when that came, when that started up, I think. Yeah, another blessing bestowed upon the Ascended by the Vigil is the ability to gain planar charge. Each time you close a rift, you receive a planar charge. Ascendant powers consume these charges. Use your new planar lore ability to summon a rift, or find a rift that is already formed. Then defeat the creatures that pour out, sealing the rift and granting you a planar charge. Alright. So this is definitely tutoring us into... Um, rifts now. It looks like there's a rift right over there, so let's go ahead and go over there. We shouldn't have any real trouble with dealing with this stuff, so... Yeah, these guys are getting absolutely smashed. I think because of the fact that we're doing... I think it's because we're doing life damage for the most part, I think. Okay, so we do have multiple things going through stages here, so it's going to act like an actual rift. Another skeleton. I need a worker. Oh, I got both of them, but whatever. They're actually doing a little bit of damage to us. Okay, there's the creaking bones. Endurance. Go and just use that now, because why not? <laughs> hey there, stop shielding, shielding yourself. That's not fair. What's with all the broken skeletons, though? I don't understand why they're 
They must be just kind of part of this area in general, because I don't understand why I'm having them so much other either otherwise. There's the last mage, I'm pretty sure. Where's the last creaking bones at? There he is, okay. Kill Creaking Horror. Alright. There they are. This guy has a bit of a, uh... Kind of unfortunate. Why all the, uh. Quickly restore health and mana with. Let me just use my dwarven breakfast here. This is definitely helpful for now. I think maybe I just aggroed all those skeletons by accident. Don't know if I'm going to be able to kill six mages within like two minutes though. But I'm going to get rewarded regardless anyway, so... He is just kind of hanging out in a bad spot there. Go ahead and pick up some vigor. Get out of here, skeleton. This doesn't concern you. Okay, I may be able to do it. Maybe. It's definitely gonna be close, regardless. If I kill this guy in 20 seconds, then I win, I'm pretty sure. If there's another thing, it's gonna probably just be a single enemy. Okay, so we kind of have two enemies here that might be a little bit of trouble to us. It doesn't look like they're going to, uh... Oh, 
All right. So this wasn't too difficult. I thought it was going to be a little bit more hard than I was like, thought it would be. And down. Okay. So we got a little bit of play right, playing right from that. So it doesn't look like the skeletons weren't just like an extra enemy in the area, they were part of the rift, which is kind of interesting because I was not expecting that. <laughs> oh, here, we just got something. Let me see what that is. Okay, never mind. It's no good. <laughs> Let's grab these Scorch High Walls, because I think that's just about the last thing we need to worry about here. We're probably going to be ending up in our urgent, urgent, urgent glade here pretty soon, I imagine. This is an enemy. I've, I've dealt with these before. I don't really want to mess with, like, a bunch of these guys, but... I think the ones that came from the hive are just going to chase me forever. Because they technically don't have anything to go back to, so... We got a goblin ravager just hanging around here. I guess we can maybe fight some of these, I don't know. I was really expecting not to have to worry about Carnage Quest in this playthrough, but... <laughs> Unfortunately, that is not the case here. It is not the case at all. Okay, Overall, though, I actually am liking this uh, character so far quite a bit. Like, having the ability to just not have to worry so much about my health and have, like, passive healing going on all the time, that's actually really nice. Dang, I absolutely just smacked that guy. Darter that showed up as well. Come here, darters. Got an unusual deer. Wonder what's so unusual about it. You know, I am actually surprised the fact that we haven't gotten a cape yet. Because I think out of everything, I think we're only missing an actual cape out of our like general equipment. Obviously we don't have any accessories yet, but I'm pretty sure that. 
Okay, now we're missing a helmet, too. And shoulders. So I guess... Yeah, okay. That's reasonable. I'm actually not... You know what? I'm actually unsure that... Okay, so I can't use... I guess I don't have a range weapon of sorts like that. Oh, that, uh, that wasp was getting absolutely messed up, so... Okay, I don't need any of the... Okay, daughters, yeah. I can actually reach pretty far with this, uh, ranged attack I have. Well, that's an interesting... Oh, I think it's because of the hive. Okay. That's fair. Okay. Okay, I just need one more darter around. That's a hot. Okay, there it is. There is the one we need. Alright. Excellent work, Ascended. Guardian travelers will be much safer if you're Vespids inhabiting this part of the forest. Fair enough, okay. Let's go ahead and, uh... Okay, we literally don't have anything else we need to do. We just need to head to the next town, I guess. Though I guess we should talk to this guy first, because I think he's back towards where we were before. Wasn't meaning to, uh, get attacked there, but... Ah, good to see you. I'm no scholar, but you'd have to be blind not to recognize the taint of fire magic bursting from these hive walls. Goblins are up to their old tricks again, and we'll all be reduced to cinder if their fire magic spreads through Silverwood. Okay, so this actually is a ranged weapon. Alright. We must inform the Guardian leadership of the Goblin threat at once. Colden Fennel stands watch over the southern border of Argent Glade. He is the right-hand man of Bargain Grot, Grot, leader of Argent Glade. Colton will know what to do. Good luck. Okay, let me see our soul tree. Okay, that's fair enough. Mostly just going into passives here, it looks like, but this, uh, this definitely does help with the, our passive salvation, I guess. Glacial shield here on the uh, shaman side of things would actually probably be decent. I'm kind of wondering if I even if maybe I should change out Inquisitor for something else, perhaps. Ooh, that armor treachery buff actually might be decent. Okay. See, so it looks like we're heading into Argent Glade here in particular.
Yeah, we found the other portal. I'm all right. What's this, friend? A report from Rudy, I see. This is troubling news. We've been keeping an eye to the north for so long that we often forget how easy it is to flank Argent Glade. As the goblins spread the fire of Malforge, they also defile shrines of Tarvil. If the gods grow weak, they'll be unable to maintain the war protecting us from the elemental planes. You must utter holy words of the vigil at each shrine to cleanse the sacred relics. Alright. And then we get some new boots, it looks like. Broughton Groat, the leader of Argent Glade, has entrusted me with the safeguarding of the southern border. Ar Argent Glade is a town built by High Elves to better honor Travio, our creator. After joining the Guardians, we began worshipping the other four gods of the Vigil as well, the Orthonic, Mariel Tan, and Baroth. While Forge is dragging a fire, we'd like nothing more than to see our shrines to the Vigil burnt to the cinder. This wanton cult of goblins has spread throughout the woods to our south and set a flame to our home if we don't stop them. For the sake of our way of life, we need to defend the Argent Glade against the Wonton Invasion. Have a look at my stock. Well, look at this and send off a stock of planar, right? Let's see what we can work out. I would have had more stock. The planar focus is a powerful piece of equipment which can be customized through the socketing of planar essences. Yeah. Right? So now we have a planar focus here. And if we get two essences we could actually put them right here so I think I could actually buy a full six essence thing on my other character and then it should be like I want to say that one can be gotten from either account or something like that and I could at least maybe get that and be cheat a little bit I guess because I'm already like kind of getting stuff that I wasn't was expecting to get anyways for this character So I do I did get a ranged weapon. I wasn't expecting to get a ranged weapon. But we do have one, so that's nice I guess. We're actually filling up with our bags quite a bit. I'm hoping that there is a actually there are merchants around, so we'll be able to sell. The vigil are indeed wise to have brought you back from the stream, all of you. The planar charge on your ascended aura allows you to use ascended powers that allow to teach and augment your ascended aura if the fairy they send it. You can use player charges to cast your innate fury of the ascended ability. This ascended power will help you in your fight against infilinar invaders. Use the ability on yourself and discover how potent you have become in the fight against the invaders. To access fury of the ascended, open your ability window by pressing P. Okay, yeah. So ascended powers, and then I use fury of the ascended, and that gives me. Bit of increase in stuff. I don't usually use um, this particular thing since it does consume charges, which I usually would use for other things. But we'll see. Ready to show the world what we're capable. You're mobile of the vigil, all of you. With fury of the ascended, planar invaders don't stand a chance. Next, I guess. When the invaders take over position, they build their idols and tend to mass around the area. This could cause quite the problem for even the most dedicated ascended souls. This is when you decide it is a good time to call in some friends to help. Take this flare out of you. When you have planar charge, you can target the invader's idol and summon the forces you'll need to clear out the hordes of minions, leaving their idol and commanders at your mercy. Well, that's interesting. Guardian's flare. I've never actually had that. Are you prepared to send it? I almost forgot to give you some planar charge to power the flare. This power becomes responsibility out of you. With your newfound ability to deliver Talari of nuclear innovations. The flame burn brightly. Neat. Okay. Alright. I love fishing so much, maybe you will too. Here, take this fishing pole and I'll teach you about fishing. Let's get you starting fishing. Okay, you're all set. Go down to the water, use your fishing pole, and bring back the first thing you catch. Alright. 
right. So with this, we can, uh... Straight off the bat, we can start selling things since we have... Stuff here we definitely don't need. Okay. So that's a decent, like, jump and stuff there. Let's put that stuff up here for now. Fishing pole I'll put up here, but we can actually put that on our stuff here. I think I'll put it up here, actually, because it's going to be... I'm definitely not going to use that very often. Oh, we got a lost sea turtle. Nice. I can help you cast a oh, a lost sea turtle. I'll make sure it gets back to the sea. Good, it looks like you understand the basics of fishing. Let's try for another fish. There's a difference between shallow and deep water. When you cast your line, look for it lands. If it's in shallow water, you'll catch shallow water fish. If it's in deep water, you'll catch deep water fish. How about you try fishing in shallow water? See if you can catch me a forest pond leader. They like to swim in the shallow water under the bridge. Alright, we can do that. Yeah, this is pretty easy. I think fishing was just about the only, like, side activity I, I used to do on my other character. That's not what I need. Just gotta wait until I get a forest pond leaper. Ah, we got it. Nice. What did you catch today? You got one. Want to try for a deep water fish? I think you should try for a false shark next. They like to swim in the water that's well over your head. Try casting your line to the deep water in the middle of the pond. So probably over this way again. that one yet. I'm pretty sure I'm in the right spot, though. Yep, okay. Catch anything good? Using a lure, okay. Fishing with a lure is better than fishing without, so why not craft one? You can catch the pond napers the minnows use to make an irresistible water snail right here in Silverwood. Alright, let's see. Crafting. Uh, fishing. I can craft it, so let's go ahead and do it. That sail looks very convincing, and irresistible even. You'll find that the irresistible, irresistible water snail is a good general lure. It'll keep you from fishing up junk. 
I made a special lore for you to try out. Put the lore in your pole, and it will help you catch some Rafe and Shad for me for dinner. The Rafe and Shad live here in Silverwood. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at it. There we go, we'll apply it to the fishing pole directly, I guess. I was not expecting to do, the, do a fishing tutorial for part of this, but it's actually kind of fun to mess around with, really. I'm pretty sure it said this was going to be... Yeah, there we go. The next three times, or two now, I guess, are going to be guaranteed Rafe and Shads. So we got our wafer and shads. They're done now. What did you catch today? Fantastic! You know how to cast a line, fish in deep and shallow water, and how to use the lures. May your line never tangle. All right. Just going to apply my other lure to my pole because honestly, oh, there's another character here. Another person. We actually met another person here in like the starting zone. A friendly player. <laughs> right click the portrait to send private messages. Okay, so we have a survivalist here. But I do want to get over here to the portal and like get that quest taken in as well. I don't exactly understand why they're like way over here, but Hmm. Some great out quest, apparently. Are you here to help? Mortals cannot be omnipresent, but with Thonic's blessing, we are not constrained to one place at any time. All right. Yeah, I think this will be a good place to stop. We're about an hour in, once again. Ah, the Wardstone is giving me that buff. Okay. But next time we'll probably do the survivalist stuff and then do the other questing around in this town. So, definitely having a good time here. Reliving base rift here, so... <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.